Hey guys, so this is a quick video um, <clears throat> about something that I haven't really discussed on here or talked about or explained or even really shared with you guys about myself. And as you can probably tell by the title, um, it's about depression. It is something that I have struggled with my whole life and most of you probably don't know that. Um, I mean, some of you might have, because I think I made a video explaining that I went through depression. Well, I said I went through the depression, but I didn't, like, explain it. I didn't talk about it any further than that. So that's what I'm doing today. I'm telling you, like, what, how I felt, what was going through my mind, what actually happened, the, like, whole story, like, what what it brought me to, my depression, and I think it's something that people really don't talk about that much, and <clears throat> it's a very big part of my life now as well. It didn't just go away because I had a baby. <laughs> um, I also had postpartum depression, and now I still have regular um, medical... Medi I forget what it's called. I have, um, I'm clinically depressed, that's what they call it, but I have this, um, name for what kind of depression it is, and I had, um, a packet on it at one point, and I don't know where it went now, but I think it starts with a B, but I got that, like, two years, two or three years ago, so I don't really remember what it was called, um, but it was a specific type of depression. I figure that I got my depression from my birth mother. Uh, she also had depression as well, so that's my guess, is that it was, uh, it's genetic that I got it from her. I really hope that Caden does not get it as well, and I will explain that further by telling you what, what my experience with it is. He's awake right now, and he's not very happy. There we go. Come over here with me. Here he is. Okay, so... With my experience with it, I, it all started when I was around 15, well it was probably earlier, but it never got really, really bad until I was around 15, and it was mostly because the kids at school bullied me, and I'm not saying bullying like, um, just a few mean words, I'm talking about, they would start rumors behind my back about how, um, well, it was just like everything in the book. They just, they didn't like me for some reason, and they called me a liar, and they said I was ugly and stupid and dumb, and they had never talked to me in their lives. So, it kind of bothered me, because I'm 15, you know, I wasn't exactly very happy with my life at that point. I didn't really think that I deserved to be called all those things, so, um, I was also called a slut and a whore at 15, and I had never had sex at that point, so, um, yeah, that was hard, that it was, and that's where it all kind of began, um, I'd always had it, but it had never gotten to the point of where I felt worthless and alone and stupid and like I meant nothing to anybody and no one would even care if I killed myself. And it's not a joking matter. Like, it's really, it's really a serious thing when someone is depressed. And I know someone who fakes being depressed and they're one of Rice's friends. And it's just, it, it upsets me because I've been there and, you know, 
it's not something to laugh about. It's not something to get attention for. It's really something that is very, very serious. And I'm speaking from experience because once you're in that state of mind, you're not thinking clearly. You're not thinking rationally. Um, I have an old channel on YouTube of me when I was younger, um, around 16, 15 and 16. I made videos about <clears throat> two songs that were very depressing. And I still have that channel up. I don't remember what it's called, but if you want to know, it's, um, you can just comment below and I'll get a link, I'll try and find a link for it, but, um, I used to listen to very sad, depressing music. Yeah, I know. I used to listen to very sad and depressing music, and um, I really didn't feel close to anybody. I had friends, I just didn't feel like they understood me, that they actually cared about me. And at that point, my friends had started hanging out with the popular girls in school, and I became second priority because I wasn't cool like that. And. So that made me feel bad because these were my lifetime friends at that point. I had been with them every day for 15 years and then all of a sudden these people are more important because they're prettier or they're, they get better guys or, you know, silly things like that. And so these people totally stopped even talking to me because they're hanging out with these people and then, um these popular girls told my ex-friends that they weren't allowed to talk to me because I was stupid and ugly. Um, so yeah, that's kind of a painful thing. I remember in seventh grade that I had had this crush on this guy named Austin and <laughs> Um, I had a crush on him throughout basically all my high school years and my 6th, 7th, and 8th grade years. <laughs> so I really liked this guy and I got one of my friends to ask him out for me and um, <laughs> he told me no. I don't want to date someone like you because you're ugly. So that was kind of painful. Um, I just... It was hard. Like, the things that I went through with bullying is hard. And... I mean, I still get it now from people on YouTube, but... It doesn't bother me as much because you guys have never seen me in my life, so... It doesn't really affect me as much as it would if you guys knew me personally, but it still does affect me, and I want you guys to know that. It does affect me. It does hurt me. Um, because I've tried so hard to show you guys that I'm not this stupid, immature girl anymore, that I have done things, but... You know, I learned, I changed, I am trying to do better, and it does hurt sometimes. Like, I do take it personally sometimes, and it's not because I want to, it's not because I try to, it's not because I want to make them feel good because they hurt me, no. It's because I just, it's hard to hear those things and just say, Oh, well, they don't know me, you know. Oh, well, they're just trying to hurt me. Well, it does work. When you say stuff like that, it does work. And I think it's silly how people say to just shrug it off. Um, that's not as easy as it sounds. It really isn't. When you're in, in my shoes and you have a lot of people a day saying that you're a shit mom and that you are immature and you're stupid and you're a slut and a whore and you get that daily you 
would probably feel the same way. It is not an easy thing to do. And I remember when I was pregnant, I was very emotional. And I'm sure if you guys have been pregnant before, you know that you are very emotional. And I do, I, I do remember crying over comments that I got on my YouTube. I remember crying. And so I want you guys to know that it, it hurts. <laughs> it really hurts. And you guys think that I can just shrug it off. You know, I don't know these people, and sometimes it doesn't affect me, but sometimes it does. Like, when I'm down and I don't feel so good about myself, like recently, I have been depressed. And it is hard. Um, back to my story on my past with depression. Um, I think it was when I was 15 years old, I went to my first mental hospital. It was right after my boyfriend Jake broke up with me and I ended up going to Crittenton in Kansas City, Missouri. I stayed there about two weeks and um, it was because I had tried to kill myself. Um, and then the second time I went to a mental hospital was <coughs> when I was 16. And I went when I was 16 about twice to Good Shepherd. And when I was 17, I went about twice to Good Shepherd in Wichita, Kansas. Um, and they were all for trying to kill myself. And... It was because I felt so alone and I felt like no one ever cared about me. No one would care if I died. And that wasn't the truth. I mean, I had family members who would care. It's just, when you're in that state of mind, it's you can't bring yourself out of it. You can't think rationally. You can't, I mean, you're just stuck in this state of mind where you are you just suck and you should just go die because you're not worth anything to anybody and it's a really bad feeling and it literally is physically painful you ache you feel hot and cold in your chest and you feel like you have pins being poked through your body it is physically painful when you are depressed and you just when you get really, really depressed, you go numb. And that's when you start cutting. And I cut a lot back in the day. <laughs> when I was um, 15, 16, and 17, I did cut a lot. And um, there's one thing that I don't think you guys know about, and that was when I was three months pregnant, I did cut. Um, I'm not proud of it, but I had found out that Bryce cheated on me and so I cut myself and I cut um let's see I cut hate and I wasn't trying to kill myself on this one um I don't think you can see the scar really oh goodness I don't know I don't think I don't think you can see the scar, but it says hate right here. I wasn't trying to kill myself or it would have been there, but, um, I know you probably can't see my scars. I have a lot, but see, the thing is, like, I cut when I was three months pregnant because I was still depressed and... I have been depressed, but I haven't cut since then, and I'm very glad that I haven't, because, and I have been, I've been to the point of depressed, I just want to end my life, but I haven't cut, because, you know, I have this little boy right here who needs me, and I need him, it's just, sometimes it's overwhelming, and when you're in that thought process, you just can't think straight, you don't, 
be like, oh, well, he'll be better off without me, and everybody would be better off without me because all I do is ruin things, and I'm not worth anybody's time, and I'm so ugly and stupid, and I'm not worth this, and nobody should even care about me, and, you know, I get into those states of mind where I can't think about anything else. I just feel like my entire life was pointless and I should just stop it before I end up hurting more people or I end up ruining my life anymore or I end up doing something stupid. Like, I just, I get into this state of mind where I think that I am the most horrible, stupid, ugly person in the entire world and that I don't deserve to be alive. And I really do. I get to that point. And, and I can't think about what I have. I think about Caden. Bryce tells me to think about Caden. And I just, I'm like, well, he's better off without me. He doesn't need me. I'm not worth his time. Um, so, yeah. Anyway, sorry this is 60 minutes long. I'm just trying to explain to you guys what depression is and how it affects me and I just want to explain that. Oh. Anyway, that's what depression has done in my life. If you have depression too, Please comment below on if you could relate to any of this or anything. Um, I hope this helped somebody out there who uh, didn't understand depression or needed help. I am willing to talk to any of you guys who have depression and just you know need somebody to talk to because I understand that. Right now, I don't really have anybody that I can talk to about my depression because nobody understands. Um, and that's the thing about depression. Nobody truly understands what you're going through. Even if they have depression as well, they don't truly understand. Um, but if you guys need somebody to talk to, I am here. I do want to help. I know what it feels like. I am still going through it to this day. And... I want to help you guys out. So comment below or message me or something if you need someone to talk to. I am always here. Bye, guys.